Hey, Voice Monkey here. Thanks for watching. Please uh, share and subscribe. Uh, subscribe especially because in the near future we'll do a, a random uh, lottery among the subscribers to give out uh, give us some prizes. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, please subs uh, subscribe and share if you like. Uh, this is something that we're gonna show today. We're gonna try uh, this monitor. It's a Samsung Sync Master. Samsung Sync Master S. 22B300 and this Samsung monitor we found it we found it in the curbside trash so someone th is throwing it away someone threw it away and left it for the garbage pickup truck to pick it up together with mattresses box springs and uh, bed frame stuff that are not similar to electronics so anyway we uh, picked it up uh, just thinking let's see if we can uh, if we can get going and uh, as we picked it up we've checked if it has HDMI port or not and we found yes it has the HDMI so in the back of it in the back of it right here it has the VGA or SVGA port and the HDMI port and the uh, it needs a different type of almost like laptop uh, power cord kind of power cord adapter power supply now unfortunately couldn't find uh, they are in the garbage uh, or in the curb side uh, they didn't leave the power supply so we assume that the power supply is burned or the monitor is burned and uh, they kept the good power supply and just throwing this way right so most likely it will not work but let's see if, it, if we can get it going now <clears throat> Samsung sync master sync master s22 b300 let's see what's the specs specs for it let's do a google search i'll show you in a second what's the result of the google search so we did a quick search google search and the specs shows it's a samsung led and um, 21.5 inches the best thing is it's showing 1920 by 1080 so it's a hd hd uh, monitor and the contrast ratio is 1000 to 1 which is pretty good and uh, <clears throat> so that's that's pretty good now i need to know what's the power supply is like actually I should show you also it has a four star rating so the monitor going bad is a uh, is less likely although it can let's see now we did a sync master s22 uh, b300 power supply search and we found this power supply online for like 10 15 dollars only so that's pretty good uh, the power supply the jack is kind of different this is a pretty big jack now in the specs this is what i want to know where's the uh, it's showing output voltage is 19 volts right here it's 19 volts and output current is 3.16 ampere to 3.4 ampere and power 60 watts okay so that's good so 19 volts and 3.6 uh, or 3.16 ampere right so I'll remember that three point about 3.2 and 19 volts okay so now I look for uh, the right adapter if we have any uh, power supply like that unfortunately I don't have anything because uh, the uh, the port is kind of different like the one I could find is something like this but uh, this not gonna fit it's not gonna fit the uh, uh, jack over there this needs to be a lot wider so I came up with this idea 
Uh, this is my laptop's power supply. And this is my laptop's power supply. And it's actually showed the output in this one is, you can see, it's about 19 volts. And uh, I think 3.4 to amp so which is similar to the regular power supply for this monitor right now at the back of this monitor is written 14 volt DC now this is 19 volts but that should be fine as long as the um, current is not too high if you put too high current in there it's gonna it's gonna die now this doesn't fit so what I'm gonna try is I got two pieces of wires what I'm planning is cut two pieces of wire like this, right? I'm gonna put, the positive is inside. Can you see? Right here. The, the center, the, uh, the uh, inside, that's the positive, and the outside wall, this is the neutral negative. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to put this one in. Well, it's gonna be loose, so let's bend it a little bit. So now it goes in tightly. It's kind of tight. Make sure it's tight, it's not loose. So this is positive, right? The one that goes right inside. And the other side, other pin, I'll be using that as uh, negative right so I'll touch it right here so this is negative this is positive right let's try now I turned the monitor I'll try to show you how the jack is right there so this is the the one that I just put inside the uh, power supply at the center of it, which is the positive. Remember, this is a, inside is the positive. It's written at the back of the adapter with a little diagram that there's the positive. Center is positive. Usually that's uh, the case with any other power supply. And now this other end of it, I'll try to put right inside at the center. You can barely see. Yeah, right in there. Okay, so this is good. Now, so the positive goes right inside at the center of this uh, jack here. Now the other side, this one will be negative. I bend this tape as well a little bit, actually, yeah. And I'm gonna put it to the negative. This one is a good jack, actually, it has a it has a plastic uh, insulation between the positive and negative, so there's no chance of getting shorted right here. So I can easily, I can easily put it in like this. Yeah. So top one is the um, negative here, and the one that went inside is the positive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna plug that power supply to the wall outlet and and then I'm gonna touch this to the negative right here at the outside and see if I can turn the monitor on. So I'm gonna slowly turn it towards us so that we can see. Okay, so I connected this uh, power supply to the wall outlet. So this is live now. And uh, I'm gonna touch touch this here. Actually, I have to also turn on the power button once I touch it here. Turn it on, and it should uh, see if it works or not. I need a third hand, but uh, let's try. If it's loose, it'll spark. Uh, hey, it turned on. Yeah, yeah, it turned on. <laughs> so, 
So the monitor, monitor powered on. Oops, it's flickering a little bit. Uh, so it's not dead. That's amazing. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's going to work though. So we have to actually connect it to a computer and see if it's uh, it can actually display right, right? But anyway, I turn on right and I see that uh, it says uh, check signal cable. HDMI. So no HDMI. I'll get a HDMI cable and uh, hook it up to the computer. I'll see in a second, okay? I uh, just took it off. Okay, now I connected the HDMI cable from the computer that's running, it's displaying. So let's see if it's uh, gonna work. Yes! <laughs> we found it in the curbside trash, ready to be uh, picked up and thrown. So and it works fine. It's displaying fine. Amazing, amazing. So you know, uh, all I now I am I'm sure that I'm gonna go and buy a, a power supply for this one, which is like 15 bucks. And by the way, in the display of this uh, uh, description of this video, I'll put a few uh, uh, few links for uh, items that can be helpful. Uh, in diagnosing repair or uh, for other other purposes uh, <clears throat> so hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, video uh, I mean amazing I didn't expect it to work and it looks everything is pretty clear actually there's no broken broken pixel or uh, darkness or anything so if I take it off it goes off I gonna Yeah, this comes back nice. So fantastic. Please uh, share this uh, trick. So basically, and, and uh, I'll be actually making another video, interesting video about uh, how this power supply can be used. You see how the positive and negative, male and female, I took it out from here. Uh, it can be used for many other things. So, okay, just stay tuned and share, please. Thanks a lot for watching.